Quail browser, one of the feature rich Android browser you can get for your Android device. And in this video, I'm going to share you guys some mind blowing features of this Quail browser that blown my mind. So let's jump into this Quail browser video. Thing to notice that I'm going to only look at the features that blown my mind or the features that forced me to make this video. I'm going to only share those features and apart from that it got all other features which you can find on all other browser like Chrome and Edge. I don't know how much it is available because all the features that I use on both this browser that is Chrome and Edge is available on this wheel. So I never worried about that. So you might want to experiment for yourself. One of the mind blowing and very useful feature of this mail browser is the quick preview option. That is if you long press a link, it is going to show a pop-up and inside the pop-up you can find the preview of that link. That is a small quick preview of the link that you long pressed is shown on the same page. So you can easily look at all the contents on that link very fast. And second option, it is same as that of quick preview, but more interactive type that is the quick search option. And for this feature, it will not only help us to open a particular link, it also helps us to select particular test and open that particular test in a pop-up window. That is the quick search feature. And another feature of this uh, whale browser is uh, second space. But the biggest limitation of this second space option is that or the second space feature is that you need a dual screen smartphone like LG G8X or LG Wing or another foldable device. I don't know about the foldable device but you need phone with a dual screen. That is by using this second space you can open two tabs simultaneously on each screen. And the next option is the option to see which are the tabs open on another device Whale well browser which you log in with the same neighbor account that you used to log in on your phone. So navigation between tabs on different devices is very much easier on this Whale well browser. And the next thing is that if you check out the history of this Whale well browser, in the history section you can find all the website you open on all the devices that you logged in with this neighbor account. It is giving a small convenience as you can see all the history you opened on all the devices. So it's very fast to navigate between all the website you open on all the devices. But at the same time we got a con that is as I said you can find all the history. So finding the website that you open on the Android device is a little bit difficult as it got immersed on all the history that you opened on other device. So another feature of this Whale browser is the scrapbook option. It is a form of bookmark or advanced bookmark as it will allow you to save link, text, images, videos, memo like all that sort of things in scrapbook and you can open this scrapbook on all the devices that you open this neighbor account so it become very easy to share all the details that is photos images like all that thing and it become very easy to save all the things so these are some of the mind-blowing features there are a lot of other features but these are the main things that i use and i find very interesting Next, some of the problems that you face with this mail browser. It is not a browser with no problems. And the first thing is not related to the mail browser. It is more related to the uh, country because mail browser use neighbor account and the mail browser is based on Korea. And to log into the neighbor account, you may find some problem because some countries block the website so you can't login to a neighbor account so limiting most of the functions of this whale browser but if you use vpn then you can easily log in to the neighbor account and if you don't have a neighbor account you can easily create a neighbor account by using vpn so you can do that after login to the neighbor account or after creating the 
നെയ്ബർ അക്കൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ലോഗിൻ ടു ദ നെയ്ബർ അക്കൗണ്ട് യു ഡോ നീഡ് ടു ഓപ്പൺ ദ വി പി എൻ ഓൾ ദ ടൈം ബിക്കോസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ലോഗിൻ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ സിങ് വിതൗട്ട് എനി പ്രോബ്ലം ആൻഡ് യു ഡോ നീഡ് ടു യൂസ് ദ വി പി എൻ സോ ഫോർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം യു നീഡ് വി പി എൻ ടു ലോഗിൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് എ ലിമിറ്റേഷൻ ഫോർ ഓൾ ദ കൺട്രീസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൺലി ലിമിറ്റഡ് ടു സം കൺട്രീസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വേരി സോ യു മൈറ്റ് വാണ്ട് ടു ചെക്ക് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് and the second problem is related to this web browser that is if you close the web browser it's going to close the entire tab so it becomes little bit as well as when you close the web browser it's going to close all the tab so it's a little bit as well and it depends on your personal preference so i think it's a bug and they will fix the issue on next update i don't really know that much about that thing so that's it that's all about this uh, well browser guys i hope you guys find this video useful and i prefer you guys to just check out this well browser as you will find this well browser little bit amusing so that's all about this video guys thanks for watching talk to you in next one